Hey! How's it going, all you beautiful people? Tragic Comedian here. Um, this is Moirai. It's a free game on Steam. It's been out for a while, apparently, but it's only recently... I say apparently because I found this out when I looked it up, but it's only recently been getting, like, a lot of stuff, like, a lot of, uh, recognition. And I'm gonna be completely honest, right off the top. Um, I know what the gimmick of this game is already, so it's not gonna surprise me. Um, but I still wanted to give it a try, play it a bit for myself. I don't know if there's any music. I have the volume on my TV turned down very low, uh, so it doesn't get picked up on the mic, so if there is any, I, I can't really hear it. Um, but, uh, on top of that, uh, I am exhausted, or else I'd probably be doing Tales from the Borderlands right now, but I am exhausted, and since it's gonna be the finale, I, I wanna record that when I can give it my all. So I decided to do this as kind of like a last resort backup, because what I was going to do instead wasn't installed and was probably going to take too long, so... Uh, here we go. I don't... Okay, talk to Priest with Space. My prayers go out to poor Julia. It's been a year since her husband has passed. She hasn't been been seen all day. I imagine she's grieving. Do you mind visiting her at her home? It's the house to the right as you leave town. So yeah, I've, I've seen a few videos on this, but I've never actually, like, seen, like... That, like I've always, the, the people always seem to just kind of wander around till they get to the end. I've never really seen them like talk to people and stuff, so it's it, it's gonna be interesting to see like kind of what the actual story is because I've never really seen a playthrough where they explore that. Need to stay close to Mama, otherwise she'll worry that we've run off. Get out of my, out of my way, boy! Out of my way, boy! I said, boy. Did you hear about the boy? Julia lost her son in the cave shortly after her husband died. Poor Julia. I would never let my boys out of my sight. Yeah, or else Harambe happens. Topical. Sometimes Daddy lets us pat the sheep on the head. They're so soft. Yeah, I bet they are. I've never pet a sheep. What are these houses? What are, what are these? Let's look at a bookshelf. There's a picture of the on, on the shelf of a wife, husband, and a young boy. I wonder where they are. Is this Julia's house? Most likely. Those beds are flat. Look at bookshelf. That's not what I- stop it. <laughs> I want to look at this. Can I not? Oh, wow. Okay, so this is probably Julia's house. So, I'm gonna leave. Let's head over here. Yeah, I don't know if this is- I can't check, like, the audio readout, so I don't know if this is just quiet. Uh, and I can't hear the music, or if there's no music at all. If there's no music at all, um, expect something pretty chill. I'm gonna say that. My uncle and dad are out chopping wood to keep us warm in the winter. They should be home soon. Alright. Uh, I haven't been in these houses yet. Out of my way, girl! Oh, hello. I heard there's gold in the cave, but I'm too scared to enter. They say there's a little boy that haunts over your shoulder. Well, he's not, not a very good... I didn't want to... Stop it! Stop it! I don't want to talk to you. You're annoying. I want to leave. You have nothing important for me. Oh. Alright. It looks like a lovely day outside. You should head out to the farm. If you get the chance, spend some time with the animals. Alright, chef. Why are you, why do you... Why do you have the... Why? Why Why are you telling me this? You're a chef. Oh, well. I'm assuming... Well, not assuming. I know, because I've seen it before. Plus, it's the only exit that this is the way to the farm. All right. Wow, it is really... I'm, I'm gonna turn the volume up on my TV real quick just to see if there's, like, anything. Yeah, no, there's, like, nothing. There's no footsteps or anything. That's interesting. Well, just in case, like, a noise suddenly happens, I'm gonna keep the volume pretty low. Bah... I'm not gonna fucking talk to all of you sheep. This one in the corner, though. I'm gonna talk to him a bunch, because he's my homie. I like you. I relate. I, I concur. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeedy. Feed the needy. Alright, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with the charade. Uh... 
that that sheep is my homie though ride or die homie for life out of my way the rest of you are chumps the door's locked all right where else can i go the barn's locked oh all right lumberjack dude what's up pick up lantern picked up the lantern on the stump interesting I have to talk to the lumberjack. Yeah, I do. I have a hand. I don't remember that. The hand, like, with the lantern. My brother and I were chopping wood when we heard moans coming from the cave. My brother went in to investigate. He should have been back by now. I'm worried. Can you check on him? There's a lantern behind you on that stump. Okay. I got it. But whatever. Go to the cave. Ugh. Oh. Hey, you! Come over here! Sure. I was not in control of moving like that, by the way. Did my brother send you? Bless him. The man, the moans are coming from further down. I'd go in, but my sights are no good. You should take this knife. Who knows? You may need it. Now I know if I turn around and go back, I can stab the sheep. Is that a fucking mouse? I can't, like... There's no way to look, like, up or down, it seems, so I can't do anything with that mouse. But yeah, I'm not gonna go back and stab the sheep, because it's something I know you can do, and there's no point. Really? Is this just a maze? Ugh. Whoa. This is kind of like ear. Ew. Skeleton bones? Someone must have died here. The bones look as though they are a child's. Oh, no. Did I look into the hole? I can see something shiny. It's just out of my reach. I want it, though. I want it. I want to know what it is. This is actually really creepy, like, it being completely silent, I, I'm kind of spooked. Um, definitely gonna put some super chill, like, music to kind of calm this down a bit, because I didn't expect this to be a scary game, and I kind of don't think it should be. I, hey, no man. I found uh, a dead son, kid, child. Um, oh man, this is really spooky, actually. Wow. It's interesting, because normally, like, what's what creeps me out the most is atmosphere. Like, in horror games, that's what gets me more than, like, jump scares or anything is... Oh, oh, jeez. Is atmosphere. And this game, being, like, the way it is, kind of doesn't have atmosphere. What does it take? There are some tools leaning against the wall. It looks as though they've been used to mark carvings on the wall. Oh, so those are all etches. Oh, man. Oh man, oh man. Look at book. There's a book on the top of this pedestal. It's labeled Farmers. There is a list of names inside. Evan, Uno, Sungarin, Haven, dot dot dot, how eerie. Interesting! Oh, that's so cool! That's so fucking cool! Um, in case you guys don't know what the, like, little thing is for this game, I will explain later, not to spoil it. Do I get different names? No, I don't. Oh man, that's so fucking awesome. That's so dope. All right, I'm gonna explain. I've never seen that room before. I'm gonna explain what what that means and what that's about uh, when I'm done with this, so I can like avoid spoilers. Because again, I know what the ending of this game is and like what the whole thing behind it is. But in case who, you guys watching don't, I will keep it secret, keep it safe. Oh god, I, maybe it's just the way like it's so dark and the light like flickers in combined with the fact that it's just dead quiet Like maybe that in and oh here it here it comes A farmer approaches. Why do you have blood on your overalls? I was gutting a deer Why do you have a knife? Lol just told you I heard moans. What have you done? Hey, I heard them too. Let's investigate Let them pass. All right, I'll let you go Ugh, I kind of feel like I should have I uh, again I know the the um the thing about this so knowing that I wasn't gonna attack him but I kind of feel like if I didn't know that I might have because that was very suspicious but at the same time I'm not that kind of person here we go gutting a deer huh gutting a deer 
Oh, please help me. I'm in a lot of pain. I came here to end my life. My name is Julia, and I want to see my child and husband in heaven. My husband was a miner in these caves. He spent days mining for gold, and then one day he found something. He found a golden nugget. I thought we could retire and be comfortable for the rest of our lives, but he didn't trust me. He buried the golden nugget to spite me. Then he disappeared. Everyone in the town heard about our good fortune. They thought I was rich. I was so ashamed that I couldn't tell them the truth. One day my son wandered into the cave. He wanted to find his daddy. He wanted to make everything better, but he never came out of the cave. I went to look for him, but I couldn't find him. Now it's too late. Now I have nobody. Will you help me? Will you help me end my life? No, I'm going to get help because your husband and your son would not want you to kill yourself. And you should never kill yourself, no matter the circumstances. This is a firm belief, and I don't care what your reasoning is. Then Lee, yeah, call me a coward. Woman spurts blood on me. I'm not going to because I, that is firmly against my beliefs. All right. I wonder if there's any way I could get that, um, let that shine, the, what is now I know is the golden nugget in that, um, in that thing. Hi. A farmer approaches. Why do you have blood on your overalls? Now here's the gimmick of this game. Um, I'm gonna be honest about this, just cuz, cuz, why not? I'm gonna put it in all caps. I'm gonna say something along the lines of, uh, there's an injured woman. We must get help. Uh, no. There's an injured woman in need of help. We... need to find to save her? No. There's an injured woman. She needs needs our help. Why do you have a knife? Um... The where's I can't type good right now. The lumberjack gave 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 it to me for protection. The lumberjack gave it to me for protection. I heard moans. What have you done? I've done nothing. No, um, a woman, a woman, Julia, because we're looking for Julia. No, because that would, that would kind of spoil things, I guess. Um, whatever. I'm just going to say, I told you. Our, I'm just gonna say Julia needs our help. That's all I'm gonna say on the subject. That's that's spooky enough. Needs uh, uh, our help. Let me see what will happen to you. And that is where this story shall end, at least for now. It is up to the next player of this game to choose your fate, just as you chose for the previous player. Enter your name. Tragic, tragic comedia. That I always do that capital O thing. Comic Jesus, <laughs> comedian. There we go. Enter my email address. I'm gonna blur this out. <laughs> you will be emailed about your fate. Thank you for playing. Space to submit my my details. See, so. 
storing an outcome database. No signal. One moment, please. All right. Well, that's that's that. So to explain kind of what happened there, as you as you guys probably saw and figured out, basically, in that game, when you first like you go through, you meet the farmer covered in blood, and ask him the same questions that the farmer asks you, and it's an endless cycle, uh, where like the story is you meet either yourself or someone doing the exact same thing as you and you affect how their story ends. It's a really cool concept. I love the idea. And that's why that one room covered in like Nyx was so awesome because all those marks on the wall were for all the people who've played this game. And the book that was in there was like either just like who would played it recently or like five random names of people who would played it or the first five people who played it. I don't know, but it's five people who played the game, which is really cool. I'm assuming that the shiny thing by where the boy died in the hole was uh, the gold nugget that was buried. I wish there was a way I could get at it. I don't know. I feel like now that I've actually played this myself, this game has a lot of secrets to it. But hey, it's it's free. Completely free. It's on Steam. It's really good. Really short. Maybe you guys can find some secrets out that I didn't. Who knows? Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you have a... Uh, wonderful day, a fantastic evening, and a good night. And as always, see ya Space Cowboy, Steam apparently has to update. During editing, I got an email. It read as follows. As you left the cave, you were confronted by a farmer called Jacob. They asked you three questions. The first question that was asked was, why do you have blood on your overalls? To which you responded, There's an injured woman! She needs our help! The second question that was asked was, Why do you have a knife? To which you responded, The lumberjack gave it to me for protection! The third question that was asked was, I heard moans. What, are you, what have you done? To which you responded, Julia needs our help! After hearing your answers, Jacob decided to kill you with the knife received from the woodchopper, which was unfortunate as you chose to spare the life of the previous farmer, Katie, and that draws an end to your involvement in this story. Thank you for playing.